I'm sometimes asked if I'm optimistic or pessimistic about energy. And I suppose, uh, to some degree, it depends on what terrible news I've heard on the news in the morning when I wake up. Daniel Jurgen teaches at Harvard, and he's helped produce a book called Energy Future. There are some days when he doesn't think that future is very bright. How dependent we are, and really, that we do not have very much more time to get a handle on this problem. And I am pessimistic when I look at the last more than six years and see how little we have done as a country to respond sensibly in our own interest to this very great problem. Americans have grown up with a vision of unlimited resources, of endless abundance, and for much of that, our history that has been the case. But in the last decade, we've run into a problem where we have constraints, where there are limits now, and it has hit us in the basic ingredient of industrial civilization, energy. In one 30-year period, this country's population grew by 54 percent. Motors, machines, engines, total horsepower, that went up by 750 percent. What really happened is uh, that our appetite for oil outran our ability to produce oil. We reached the peak of our oil production in 1970, 11.3 million barrels a day, and then we went down. We continue to have a very high and growing demand for oil, and the way we made it up was by importing more oil, and more oil, and more oil. The bubble of exponential growth. This is a concept developed and refined by energy expert M. King Hubbard. All right, we're already past the peak of oil production and gas production in the United States. We're importing almost half the oil we're using. We are 75% dependent upon oil and gas for our entire economy, our entire industrial operation of the country. We're very, very vulnerable. We're very, very dependent. So therefore, it is urgent that we now get going on uh, a replacement. These things were accumulated over long periods of geologic past, and we take them out of the ground in a matter of, say, decades. Well, uh, there's no replacement. Uh, this is a one-shot affair. So that the, this uh, rise of our modern industrial society is a unique event in the totality of human history. But the new phase we're going into, which is uh, related to the exhaustion of these resources, is also a unique event in human history. We're moving into a phase that has never happened before in the totality of human history, and we're unprepared for it.